is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday, February the 10th, 2021. It's the birthday of the playwright and poet Bertolt Brecht, born in Augsburg, Germany, 1898. Bertolt Brecht, a Marxist who regarded his plays as social experiments, did not want the audience to become emotionally involved with the story, rather to acknowledge the stage as a stage and the actors as actors and not as real people. With Hitler's rise to power in 1933, Brecht left Germany, moved to Denmark, then Sweden, Finland, journeyed across Russia, settled in Hollywood in 1941. As in Germany, his books were burned and his citizenship was withdrawn. It's the birthday of Boris Pasternak, born Moscow, 1890. Started out as a poet, wrote two collections of poetry, and in the early 30s began work on his masterpiece, Dr. Zhivago, following the lives of more than 60 characters through the first half of 20th century Russia. Pasternak wrote, I always dreamt of a novel in which, as in an explosion, I would erupt with all the wonderful things I saw and understood in this world. It was finished in 1955. And it was on this date in 1846, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormons, left Illinois for the West. They had started out in New York, where Joseph Smith said he'd been visited by the angel Moroni, 1823. He had discovered the gold plates, translated them, wrote the Book of Mormon. Smith and his followers moved to Kirtland, Ohio, 1831, later Jackson County, Missouri. They were expelled there. They came to Commerce, Illinois, where they founded the town of Nauvoo. But their neighbors distrusted their theology, their views on polygamy. Joseph Smith tried to make Nauvoo an independent territory. He declared martial law, named himself king of a theocracy. The governor ordered his arrest, and before he could go to trial, a mob broke into the jail and shot him to death in 1844. So the church's new leader, Brigham Young, decided that they must move West. He appointed 25 men to lead about 100 families on the journey westward across Iowa to Nebraska, where in the autumn of 1846, some 12,000 Mormons were making their temporary home over the winter. There was a vanguard party that broke a trail through the Rockies and reached the Salt Lake Valley that July. And Brigham Young came three days later and said, this is the right place. Here's a poem for today by Sharon Bryan, entitled The Underworld. When I lived in the foothills, birds flocked to the feeder, house finches, goldfinches, sky-blue lazuli buntings, impeccably dressed chickadees, sparrows in work clothes, even hummingbirds fast-forwarding through the trees. Some of them disappeared after a week, headed north, I thought, with the sun. But the first cool day, they were back, then gone, then back, more reliable than weathermen. And I realized they hadn't gone north at all, but up the mountain, as invisible to me as if they had flown a thousand miles, yet in reality, just out of sight, out of reach. Maybe at the end of our lives, the world lifts that slightly away from us and returns once or twice to see if we've refilled the feeder, if we still remember it, or if we've taken leave of our senses altogether. The Underworld, a poem by Sharon Bryan from Sharp Stars, published by Boa Editions and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.